already put in, of course I already know, it's the, the new cover boy, the, of course, the cover boy kind of boy, so, let me go ahead and take these good old glasses off so y'all can see these wonderful eyes behind me, mastermind type of show that I'm about to do right now, yeah, I like that much. Now, we get down to some serious business, of course. Um, Alright. Um, getting down to serious business here. Um, I would like to send out a, a hearty uh, rest in peace, Paul Walker. And, um, of course, I wanted to say that I was a big fan of the best materials. I love anything fast. I'm just like Biker Boys. I love them for Biker Boys. But I just, um, I'm not going to really do too much of a big show for that. But I just want to send my heartfelt uh, condolences to uh, the family and whatnot. Uh, what else? Um. Speaking of which, now, on a lighter note, and a lot more of a, 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 a badder note, I kind of brought out the bad boy glasses because I was feeling some type of way because I'm doing, one, uh, of course, a review about the Bad Girls Club season 11, and I'm basically going to do a review on the part one reunion, and I'm going to do one each week on their uh, so, um, just getting things kind of out, and it will be a cover with comment at the end as well. So, yes. Alright. Uh, the first girl, we're going to just go in line for the way that they kind of started off their thing. Uh, Andrea, what I felt about you during this season, um, I feel like you, uh, you just for what you believe in. And what you believed in ever since she kind of got on the scene was uh, the no bullying thing. And I kind of, I, I was with you on that one because I, I'm not one for the bullying and foolishness either. But um, I was more of like, um, okay, she, she's trying to do something different. You know, not a lot of bad girls be on here on that, on that. Like, I'm not trying to be on somebody's bull bullying and shit, or I'm not about to click up with some people and about to gang up on bitches and get them kicked out. That's obviously what you were not on. And, you know, that's something that's to be respected. Oh, okay. Yeah, all the time. Okay. All right. Um, but, um, I'm hopefully looking forward to seeing, like, the looks on some of these girls' faces when you and Janelle, on some their reaction from when you and Janelle put stuff on their makeup and then their skin starts to break out and stuff. I wonder if they're going to play that. I wonder if you're going to get your ass with for that. But um, overall, I feel like somebody grew and I do feel like you were one of the people that I feel grew tremendously. Like you saw what affected you. You knew that you want a woman that likes to bully people and be a mean girl and things of that nature. That's something that kind of pissed me off about this season at a bad girl because y'all was over here bullying people like y'all bad and y'all not even bad. Like that was just not even cool. So we're going to start off with uh, Miss Sarah. I, I liked you when they were doing the, the little preseason uh, viewing the, the show and how it was going to turn out for the season. I liked you at first, but then when the season started to break out, you started to become a little bit of overbearing. I mean, just, just a tad bit annoying. Just a tad bit. Like, between you and me, like, I think you were a little bit more annoying. So that's that's just 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 me. Um, and for me, like honestly, I feel Sarah. You just you get what you deserve. Like you just you were in there fighting every damn body. Like you fought Tiana, you fought Gigi, you 
fought. Like, Jack Moan, I believe, he fought. Every girl in that motherfucker, like, it wasn't even a girl that you didn't fight besides any of the replacements. Which I'm gonna get into that later. Like for you to be the oldest girl, like it just it just shows something about you. But they didn't really go into um, Sarah. Sarah will be on part two. So of course a lot more of my comments will exist on the people that were on part one. This is part one of my um, read or rant or whatever the case may be about Sarah. So um, yeah. Tiana, darling, and, and this is the thing that kills me, a lot of y'all are around my age, so that's just something about my age group in terms of the ladies, if that's the case, y'all need to get together, Miss Tiana, I, I just, I wonder if you grew, like mentally, like, you know, physically, I, I wonder if you grew from this experience and learned from your situation, because you just was one of the mean girls, like, you, Jeff, um, Jeff Mon, Gigi, and um, Stephanie, just, I was just not feeling y'all this season. I was really, really, really not feeling y'all. Y'all was on that, I'm about to be some mean girl, bad girl type bullshit. Like, that's just not the way to wake it up, like, at all. And for y'all to feel like y'all were the strongest ones because y'all were originals and things of that nature. Gigi, girl, I got a tea for you. Um, but more importantly, um, just because you're young, that doesn't justify for what you do. You were still a la you were still supposed to be some type of lady and just represent yourself in a different way. And I just feel like a lot of you girls just misrepresent either a you misrepresented yourself or b you just wanted your moment and thing. That's not how you're supposed to act on camera. I, just, I mean, that's just me. Um, Teresa, I loved you from the first moment I saw you on that yacht, like, I was just loving you, Greg, you was just, oh my god, and, and I didn't really go, and at the end, she came in, and I just, I was like, damn, she's gonna be on part two, and I really wanted to know what the fuck's going on, so, you gotta keep, stay tuned and watch them next week and see what's going on with Teresa and her boyfriend and all that jazz. Cause it's a lot of questions that I want answered, and I know it's gonna probably be answered next week. So, moving on to the next girl, Miss Janelle. Miss, I'm Houston with my hair, 30 inches, and things of that nature. Girl, everything you did is coming back on you, and you're just mad because you're having a moment right now, and the girls are just like, I'm fed up with the bullshit that you was doing. For one, I do agree, you didn't have to whip your hair on people. Like, some people just consider that shit rude and awkwardly offensive. You don't want to offend people with your hair, and you're like, oh, it's 30 inches. Like, okay, bitch, that means you need to scoot the fuck over. Do it over a little bit further, like, come on now, think, or scoot back, or something, don't hit me with your hair, you know what I'm saying, I'm not over here trying to pull my fucking hair and, and, you know, whip you with your, with my, sh what the fuck, I mean, you be like, you look at them like, you know, that's just wrong, bogus, don't do shit like that, and all that to say in, in that manner is an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind, and all of y'all motherfuckers on the Bad Girl Club just went blind, like, it, it's only a few of y'all that didn't, and it's just, Janelle, you got out, but the way you got out was just absolutely bonkers, I don't think you should have hit, um, old girl, Jack Moan, I don't think you should have hit her, for the simple fact that that was on some punk shit, but in the same sense she jumped you, it was her and Tiana, for technically speaking, she got what she deserved. Oh, girl. Y'all people on that show just, y'all went, y'all did the most. Um, so, anything I have to say about Janelle? I, that just, yeah, that, all I have to say is that one hit a quitter, that running off shit, that, that focus. That's really all I have to say about her. Um, 
G, uh, Gina, aka Gigi. Now, Miss Finn, let me explain something to you. You are not an original at all. You were not an original bad girl. Last I checked, the original bad girls were Tess, um, Sarah, Kiana, Stephanie, um, Jasmine, uh, Mylene, and I, I think that's, I think I said everybody. You were a replacement. You were Tess's replacement. You were the first replacement. And, you, and everybody just thought you were so cool, so you got your, I guess you earned your stripes or whatever the case may be. But let's be forget, you were the person that was always saying, replacements are stronger, and you're just mad because a lot of these replacements were stronger. Hence, Haley, that was the bitch that was strong and came in and just kept it going and tried not to burn that house down. Because honestly, bitch would have had a burnt, high, a burnt house down something a lot of people that I know just think. Um... So, without chill girls, you know what I'm saying, Jenny, it just seemed like you were, you were kind of a, a sad puppy, just like you, you wouldn't have been like that, you probably would have been the upbeat, bubbly girl, not off, so always starting shit, like, don't get me wrong, you were still an upbeat girl, but you were starting a whole bunch of shit that just didn't need to be started, and you were just doing a whole bunch of stuff, so needless to say, you're a late bitch. <laughs> Moving on past her, um... Shanae, I feel like the way you left you was fucked up. It was fucked up, dude. Like, I don't think that anybody should have been pressured into fighting, and if they weren't wanting to fight, then they shouldn't have fought. And so, <laughs> I'm glad you st stood your ground, and no matter how the second re the, the way the second part of the reunion is going to play out, Honey, stay at your ground. Remember, stay, sh you know, tighten that up. Make sure you keep it right. Because you don't have it in the end. And I hope you're going to do well. I hope you're just going to be all right. And I hope you have a fabulous career and dancing. And I hope a lot of people get to, you know, witness you for who you are. Okay? Now, um, moving along. Destiny. You are like, I just want to say this, if you guys look throughout, okay, if you guys look at throughout Bad Girls history, you guys will see that this Stephanie in Bad Girls season 11 is a lot better than a lot of the past few Stephanies that have been on this season. Or not on this season, but on this, like, series. She's like the baddest Stephanie that she would ever meet. And it's because she's plumbing in, in Puerto Rican, which I love the Puerto Rican side of her. She's so lovey dovey, blah, 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 blah. But the Colombian side in her is just like, ugh, it's just like, oh my god, it's like, girl, can you keep her under control? So, needless to say, what I have to say about you is, I don't feel like the way, I feel like the way that you did Shanae was bogus. I, I feel like I, I do respect the fact that at the end of the day, you came to the girls and was like, hey, I didn't need your help. I don't want your help. If I'm fighting this bitch, it's me and her. But Gigi was fucking wrong, and she shouldn't have jumped in on her on any circumstances. Y'all don't jump. And honestly, if homegirl would have started, you should stop. And you should pull her back. And like, no, this is my fight. I got this. I got this. I got this. Bam, bam, bam. You know what I'm saying? Like that. <laughs> God, I that. You know what I'm saying? Just, just do something different. Different strategies, baby. Think about it. Because I actually kind of liked you too when you first came, when the season first progressed. And then you just kind of got a girl with it. And you kind of was really rude. But I just didn't look at the things that you was doing. And yeah, Miss Jeff, Mom, and, and uh, Tiana with you. You just did the most. So, yeah. Not a good look for you, Miss Jeff. But yeah. Miss Haley, let me explain something to you, Miss Haley. I want you for one to keep your head up. For two, I want you, I hope you've learned a lesson from this. Because getting drunk, throwing up, and then lying and saying that it wasn't you that did it, when you know clearly you were the one that did it. And it's just like, 
I'm one of those people where I feel like if I threw up, I'm gonna at least try and make it to the toilet. If I can't make it to the toilet, I will get some bleach, disinfected. I'm gonna make sure, and then I'm gonna make sure nobody knows that I threw up. Because I don't want to be known as the motherfucker that came home. That's just my personality. That's just me. Period. I don't want to be known as the person that came home. You look. You really misrepresented yourself in terms of womanhood. Like you go out and you all sloppy drunk and. You got these girls beating your ass and shit, just, that's just rude, that's just not even, that's not even you, that's just not you at all, you shouldn't do things like that. Then, uh, Mercedes, Benzie, or whatever the hell you want to call yourself, I want you to just, you were like one of the last two, basically after Haley, or like, no, before Haley, you were like one of the last two people to get on the show and just make your name. So basically what you were supposed to do is just sit down, shut up, and observe these bitches and be like, okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to be your friend or if I'm supposed to be whatever the case may be. You know, you're not supposed to go in there already to pop off on some bitches and just start talking shit about them. You know, that's just kind of bogus in my eyes. That's not really right. And uh, you are a pretty girl. You, but she kind of reminded me of that one girl from last season that was just really country and just really, really just ratchet and ghetto. And she came in and she was like one of the last people to be there. And I just, oh goodness gracious, I just, y'all last replacements were a hot ass mess. I will say that. Y'all were a hot ass, hot ass mess. Now, moving along to the person that I just could not wait to talk about. Miss Jasmine, Miss I'm a model, I'm this, I'm pretty, I'm better, I'm this, that, and the other. No, you're not, for one. You should have not been there, for one. I don't think that, and honestly, I think the only reason why you were there was because you really couldn't get into America's the Next Top Model with your mouth. Because Eva learned her lesson, third season of... America's Next Time Model, and so did Tiffany. You're not going to get anywhere in that industry with a mouth like yours. And you need to humble, hum, yeah, humble yourself and make yourself more presentable and make yourself seem more of a lady. Like that wig that you was wearing, that <laughs> late, poor well, donkey foolishness, honey. If you should have known better about yourself. You should have got yourself together. You're here talking about this next girl's hair, but your hair wasn't looking right. Come on now. That just don't make sense. Now, your apology to Haley seems a little bit fake to me. Just, just, just my opinion. Yours is to um, Tatiana. I feel like hers was great, too. I don't feel like y'all were sorry for what y'all did, because, quite frankly, if you were sorry, you would have never did it. You would have never beat up a drunk girl. You should have been like, hey, let me help her out. Hey, let me tell you, girl, do you need some help? Um, then in the morning, you know, that you got to clean this up. I don't get down. You know, put sprinkle some bleach over it over the night so that way it don't smell, don't stink, don't give you no motor, anything like that. Or make her go up in the morning and clean that shit up. You know, that, that's a proper way to do things like that. And then, um, the last person that I had to, or one of the last people I had to talk about, Tess. You were one of the originals. You had all them tattoos. Everybody knows your story because you got shot or you got shanked in the stomach and something happened. It just, you didn't stay on there long enough to be relevant. So why were you there? Why did you even apply? Why did you audition? Because like all these other replacements that I have said, they could have been on this show a lot sooner and it could have caused less beef because of that. You know, it would have just made practice a lot easier versus you being there. So I hope to see you on at least part three or two or whatever the case may be because they say that my man, Mimi, aka Mimi, is M-I-A. She is nowhere to be found. She is not, she didn't come. She didn't talk to nobody. Uh, the only person that heard from her was Sarah or whatever the case may be. You know, Sarah had her little vengeance or whatever the case may be because she got her ass work. But, I mean, <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm -mm, that's just wrong. Um, Mylan, you were kind of like one of my favorites before you left, but it's just, I don't like the way you, the way you left. You left, you fought the girl, and they said that she was eye-gouging her, but she asked for the fight, 
and she was like really, she was picking up stuff and y'all was in the makeup room and y'all was just doing too much in that makeup room. The makeup room is to be powdering your face and looking pretty. Not to be that girl. That's just not cute. So my side note, uh, the Bad Girls Club reunion, season 11, and the uh, just overall review is that Miss, that Texas has been misrepresented, no, misrepresented, if I'm saying this right. It's been misrepresented for the following three reasons. Think about it. The last three bad girls that have been on there, Janelle, Haley, and um, that girl, the other girl from last season, I forgot her name, she got kicked off by Valentina and Alicia. Y'all know who I'm talking about if y'all watch the bad girl season every season. All three of them have been kicked off, have been gotten their ass whooped, like, they've done everything <laughs> that has just misrepresented the name of Texas. And I know that every woman isn't like that. I know every woman doesn't get floppy jumps and want to clean up after themselves. I know that there are a lot of people in Texas that can ha handle their liquor. I know that there are a lot of people in Texas that can fight. And all these bitches got their asses whooped and got sent home packing. That's not cute. <laughs> so, like... They just, and it just seemed like they talk a lot, and they just, any new bad girl has to represent, and from Texas, they have to represent in a better light, and I just hope that they just clear up the name of Texas and the name of bad girl, because it's not a good look so far. So, the cover comment is, stop bullying, stop jumping, and stop being on that weak stuff, and if you're fighting, Make sure it has some logic to it, not some just extra old foo foo fluffery that you just want to stir up because you won't have nothing else better to do with your time. Find something to do with your time. Be more productive with the people that you want to click up with instead of clicking up and saying, hey, let's go beat this bitch ass. Or, hey, go, go to the hookah bar. Hey, let's go to the club. Or, hey, let's go get some drinks and go party. Hey, let's go to the movies. Something like that. Be normal, people. Come on now. But I guess that's, that's why I feel like reality TV is just bogus, so anyway. But, um, make sure you tweet the show. Hit the like button on all of my, uh, shows, of course. Like, comment, and subscribe to the Spirit Sosa. Um, as I said, t um, tweet the show. New Cover Lovers, Cover Boy Chronicles, um, my Twitter, um, my Facebook, my Life page. And I believe that's what I need to know. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of feedback on what I just said about today's address. And quite frankly, I think it's So, for the next time, darling, stay there.